Let's take a look at our software compressors on the drums. Starting out with the raw drum sound. First, let's bring out the Digirac 2 compressor. You can really hear that one. Definitely has a grab to it. Let's switch to the BF2A compressor. It's kind of a cool sound. Definitely riding the levels nicely as well. Sound might be a little smaller um, than original. Here's the BF76. Something cool you can do with these and a real 1176. You can go up to 20 to 1 compression ratio, but if you really want some pumping sounds, go for a quick attack. Set the release about where you want it, and then you can press all the buttons in. On this version, you hold down shift to press all the buttons in. You can get some cool, you know, roomy, Overprocess sounds that way. Here's bypassed. All buttons in. 1176s are cool for that. Next, the Digirac 3. Digirac 3 has some cool features. It has an EQ on the side chain of the compressor. The side chain is just the detector. So the circuit that's listening to the drums can be EQ'd, so it'll listen to, let's say, only the highs. We can listen to the sidechain circuit right here. So if we send that to the detector. Now the kick drum goes through without any compression, but the snare gets a thwack. And we can do the, the vice versa. Let's change our sidechain EQ be almost all kick and then we'll listen to that. So now we've emphasized the snare in that mix. It's a good trick. The side chain can be used for all sorts of things. DSers, um, you name it. Emphasizing you know, a premix drum loop, you can boost the kick this way or cut the snare this way. Next one up is our drummer dynamics compressor. That kind of reminds me of the DBX-160. A nice snap at the front and then fairly natural decay. I've got this thing set to auto. Let's take it off of auto. Still like that compressor. It just has some beef to it. Sounds good. All right, onto the more expensive pile. We've got the uh, Waves Linear Phase Multiband. Oh, here we go. This guy just sounds weird on the drums. As good as he sounds on whole mixes and not on acoustic guitar, I thought he was one of the best sounding acoustic guitar uh, compressors. Sounds weird on the drums. Even if I change the settings from opto mode to electro mode, soft knee, Sound just weird to me. Let's try the the next multiband, the McDSP MC2000. This one has some beef to it. You play with the bands like an EQ as well as a compressor. Definitely some cool stuff in there, and our bite control. interesting sound. Very, it adds some aggressive upper mids to the sound, kind of independent of the low end. All right, now for a smack. This is really smack's thing right here, is smacking the drums. If we choose the smack preset from the list, It's 
pretty aggressive. Great for smashing that mic in the other room. Really sounds good. All right, Renaissance compressor. Compared to raw. Back to Renaissance compressor. Still like this guy. He's pretty, pretty natural. Cool. Now onto the SSL bus compressor. And this thing can do gentle overall compression. With plenty of punch keeping the size of the drums nicely. Or it can really destroy the transients and make a cool room smack sound. Comparing to raw. There's a reason people like these for drums. They definitely, it's interesting how this, this thing keeps the size of the drums pretty much intact and it keeps the high frequency content. It's not driving the hi-hat loud and crazy or really dulling the sound. While Smack sounded much more like a tube kind of saturation type device and it lost a lot of highs, really smoothed everything out and pushed it toward the mid-range. This thing keeps the full fidelity even when you're compressing pretty radically. Interesting. All right, and our final software compressor is the SSL E channel. Let's hear that guy. In fact, let's set him, set him, yeah, here we go. The compressor in the E channel almost emphasizes the punch of the drums. Compared to raw. Back to E channel. Puts a nice snap on everything. If we switch to a fast attack, we can really mess things up. Something cool about this plugin is it sounds good at just about any of those settings, even super radical settings, it still sounds good. We also have a bunch of presets that come with this thing. Let me check out the room mic preset. Adding a little EQ to the compressor. And then some more uh, rooms in here. A darker room. And a really boxy room. For, certainly come a long way from the beginning. Let's hear raw again. There's the raw beginning. Here's our E channel room three. stuff. Next let's check out some hardware compressors. <laughs> 